read the rest of the story. Um, our next author is Natalie Rose Schuver. Natalie Rose, I think I just uh, said your name wrong. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, great, Schuber. And Natalie was in the fourth grade at Merrimack Elementary School in Clayton, Missouri, when she wrote her story, Sugar Stamps, Bikes, and Metal, and that is not a shopping list. <laughs> I was eight and it was a time of World War II. This is, this is a story one week in my life when my country, the United States, was fighting. My name is Al Siwa, and I have written a diary on this top of my breath. July 1st, 1942. Today my friends and I collected mail. We knocked on doors at the houses in our neighborhood and asked for anything metal. Chicken wire, tin cans, or aluminum foil from the gun markers, which we saved in balls until they were large enough to be collected. Then the truck drove by and put all the metal in the truck. The truck driver takes the metal to a collection site from where it is used to build tanks, ships, planes, and bombs for the wars that are going on. My friends and I train to do this every day until the war stops. July 4th, 1942. Today is the day I was enough to ride bicycle. It's my birthday. But all the metal is being used for weapons, so I thought I would get them. But then Grandpa Dave had somebody to make bicycle for me out of used bicycle parts. Grandpa Dave was a little worried that I won't have that, but I'm not. I love my new orange bicycle and I'm so excited to get outside, outside and show my friends. Uh, that this is that this is from his point of view. Could you 